Here's a quick look around the Intel Skull Canyon NUC. It's the 617KYK, so it's a uh, uh, sixth, uh, sorry, sixth generation. Uh, so that is Skylake quad core CPU inside. I'll put some of the specs up on the screen for you. Uh, but let's just take a quick look around the device. It's compact, it's light, plastic, exchangeable covers on the top and access screws four which are encapsulated so they don't fall out. Nice touch and two mounting points on the bottom for uh, a visa mount to go on the back of your monitor. But then uh, let's just take a quick look around the device. Power button, SD card slot, uh, two USB uh, ports, uh, we've got a three and a uh, two there, Head headphone jack, this is a consumer infrared and then we've got uh, fan output, Kensington lock and then on the back uh, input power. Uh, this is an optical audio output so interesting for those of you that want to use this as a home theater system you'll be able to get your um, full pass through of digital content, uh, digital audio there. Gigabit Ethernet, two USB 3's, display port so 4K uh, capability at 60 frames per second output there. Uh, USB-C with uh, Thunderbolt and we've got an HDMI port so, uh, which will give you 4K at 30 frames per second. Let's take a look inside. Let's get the back off this and take a look inside. Taking the back off is really simple and it's good that you've got the encapsulated uh, screws which means they don't fall out all over the place and you don't lose them when you take the back off. Four screws and then you get access to the inside. Let's take a look around then, obviously a fan output here. This does get a little bit warm. Uh, you can hear the fan under load, but this is no worse than uh, some of the better laptops out there. It's quite nicely, uh, quite nicely tuned. Two uh, uh, RAM banks there, and we've got two M2 uh, slots here for storage. We've got a uh, Samsung 950 Pro in here. There's a couple of uh, eight gig banks in there. So we've got 16 gigs all together. Here it is sitting on uh, my own quad core Iris Pro laptop from about uh, three years ago. I'm looking at the uh, full review from Notebook Check, uh, which has got a ton of performance tests in it through to the important one. There's the SSD scores. I want to show you the gaming tests we did on this. There they are. We ran through about 10 games. As you can see, there is a lot of green there. And so we're getting up to full HD on things like Sleeping Dogs, Guild Wars 2, older games in 2012. Rise of the Tomb Raider though, which is a fairly new, fairly heavy game, really only on low settings we're getting at 30 frames per second. Um, Bioshock Infinite, you can take that up to full HD, but it has some really nice performance on the medium settings there. So as you can see, this is not just entry level gaming, taking it up to full HD in some cases with some some older games. That SSD and RAM combination makes for a quick startup and a quick operation. I'm just going to open a, a project here that we worked on and um, do a render out so you can see how quickly it is. So that's uh, full HD stuff coming up there and the previews being built fairly quickly. It's um, uh, a little bit better than my quad-core laptop from three years ago with also Iris Pro graphics. But the important thing here is uh, using Intel QuickSync to render out uh, the video. So let's render it out at, uh, you can see here we're using a, well let's use an MP4 Full HD 16, oops, 25 frames a second, Full HD uh, system there. We'll engage a QuickSync here and that's the uh, QuickSync built into the RS Pro graphics which helps speeding up rendering output and what I'm going to do I'll put the preview on and uh, kick that off and we'll see uh, how quickly that uh, renders. Now I've done a number of tests and this is one of the tests I've been using um, over about eight nine months now on various devices so I get a good feeling of how quick a device is in rendering. Now have a look at the uh, the rate that it's actually uh, running through. We've got an eight minute video and it's looking like it's gonna render out in well under three minutes. Now, I've had some gaming laptops uh, with big fat graphics cards inside and I'm using Cyberlink Power Director here, as you can see up here. And when you enable this for QuickSync, 
sync. It is extremely fast. Some of you may not want to use quick sync. Uh, some of you may want to find an operation by using a software rendering on the CPU. But this is incredibly fast here, and it's going to render out this eight-minute full HD video in well, it looks like uh, under two minutes, and that's really quite good. About two minutes, 30 seconds is what my current quad-core Iris Pro laptop from three years ago does, uh, so you can get a feel for some of the improvements there. 20, 25% improvement on the quick sync rendering. And I think with that RAM, with that SSD, this is a capable uh, 1080p um, video editing system. It's quiet. It's compact, sits on the back of a monitor. You've got two um, outputs. So you've got a display port and an HDMI, so you can run two times 4K off this, if only at 30 frames per second on the HDMI output. Uh, but a pretty useful system uh, to have for video editing on a budget. Remember, the system's coming in at around 550 bare bones. Add your, RAM, add your SSD, add your operating system. It's going to bring you up to probably around 800 euros if you want a 16 gig half terabyte SSD system. But that is cheaper than most multimedia laptops that offer a, a similar sort of performance. Now there it is rendering out at around, well it looks like it's going to come in around 220. I'll we'll just zoom in on that. 15 seconds to go, 220 to render out that full HD video. That's really useful. So there's a look at the Intel Skull Canyon NUC with the quad core processor inside. It's a bare bones system coming in at around $650 as we speak. Prices obviously drop over time. So check out your local pricing for this. Really interesting self-build, high-end NUC. Suitable for some entry-level video editing and some entry-level mid-range gaming as well. Don't forget to check out the full review at notebookcheck.net. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.